here. Oh, good. Oh, good, you're here. Oh, I like it when you get the for the Thursday class. I like it. Okay, so inhale. This is so good to see everyone. We're going to feel good. This is our intention to feel good. Go up with your inhale. Now, as you exhale, your hands will come down, and I'm going to let you do either, or, you know, of course, you're always able to. You could do a down dog, or if you want to do the vinyasa with me, feet back. Bend your elbows, take an inhale to go into an up dog. Everybody looks good. Look at the sunshine in Cheryl's eyes. Lift your hips, add a push up if you want. Down dog. Now you can bend one knee and bend the other. Bend one knee and bend the, keep going. I'm going to take off my uh, socks. Holly, I cannot see you yet. I can see something white, like maybe it's your ceiling, but um, let your calves stretch. Five, four, three, two, and then guys from here, we're going to lift our heels, articulate your lower back, middle back, and then do an up dog inhale. There you are. And then tuck your chin and go into an articulation, lift your heels, lower back, middle back, upper back, breathe in and tuck and heels press and then lift, articulate. Awesome. Hi, Jean. And waking up with some up dog, down dogs, and heels, and lift, and exhale, tuck. All right, one more, go up, and tuck. Now, lower your forearms and see if you can hold dolphin, which is an upside down V, and we'll pretend. Now go into a plank by shifting your hips a little lower and walking your feet back and hold 10. You look great. Four. Good. Three. Two. Rest your pelvis, hands on the floor or sphinx or swan, which is cobra. Neck is easy. Well, that feels great today. Lower down, hands push you back up to down dog. Get ready, push, down dog. Left foot pushes the right heel down. Now the right heel pushes the left foot down. <clears throat> Both heels press. Look at your hands, step or jump up. And I'm going to move my mat over and then inhale, go up, lift up, take a back bend. Woo! And go over to half moon while you pull your own hand or you pull your own wrist. Breathe in. And go over to the other side. We'll get more of that in a moment, but take your other side. Pull, pull, pull. You got it. Nice, Jean. Go over to the first side again and either pull, or if you want to add on, you can cross that foot and you can lower the hand. I want you to take a deeper expression that works for you. I like that rotation and the hand down and lengthen through your top elbow if you want more stretch. And then we're going to go inhale and up and over to the other side. You could pull for a moment if you'd like. You can put your hand down if you'd like. Rotation, breathe. Breathe, breathe. Five, four, three, two. Inhale. Come back up to neutral, and we're going to do a vinyasa. So go up, inhale. Exhale, bring your hands down. Now, if you want to meet me in down dog, you can, but if you want to do the vinyasa, feet back like a plank, elbows bend, inhale, up dog. Lift your hips, add a push up, down dog, and meet me there. Hold. Five, four, three, two, and look up at the hands, step or jump up, halfway up. Now go all the way up when your blood pressure settles. Take an inhale, and then exhale, open up the feet. Open up the arms. Take the right toes towards the same wall that your right fingers are pointing. 
and stretch out to a triangle. Go up and over. And if you want, your top arm can reach over. I'm going to, yeah, hold here. Breathe. Nine. Yeah, go to a place that feels comfortable. This is triangle. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Now go up. And once you're up, you pivot your feet. Your left toes are now facing the same wall that your left fingers are. Reach out. And exhale down. Arm can go up or over. Good. And 10. And 9. And 8. And 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. Now take another inhale and come up. Now, both feet are underneath your wrist. Come down. Let your hands go to the floor and pull on the floor so you have an inner thigh stretch. Walk over to the right leg and hold that side so you've got just one leg at a time. And walk over to the other leg. And then come back, and if you can interlace your fingers and let the arms at the low back and then let the arms fall, add that on. Otherwise, you can just stay low with your hands. And then take your hands to your hips, and we're going to inhale and come up. Push. Push, push, and when you're at your top, you can take a little back bend, heartless. Awesome job. Let your hands come at your heart, either walk or step your feet in together or jump. Woo. Bring in your um, arms up, inhale, good. Exhale, bring your hands down. You can do a vinyasa with me or just meet me in down dog. Please choose what's good for you. Bend the elbows, inhale, up dog. Look over your right shoulder for a moment. Good, I added a cue. <laughs> and then the other shoulder. And then back to neutral and add a lift and a push up down dog. Hold five, four, three, two, and both shins down. Now lift your right foot up and see if you can take your left hand to it, to your foot or your ankle, and then push up. Your other foot is on the floor so that you have a little balance help. And Jean, both knees are down. Jean, you can, yeah, put both knees down uh, and then lift up one foot like a um, table. You got it. Now push into that hand. Good job. Breathe, keep pushing up. Lower the hand and the knee down, you're in a table. Now do the other side, lift up your other foot and hold it and lift up. Good, this is, you can feel its posture. Muscles and hip, thigh, quad. Keep pushing, keep lifting, keep breathing. And then lower, down dog. Press your hips up and back, heels down.
Come up to your hands, halfway up. Go all the way up into a back bend. Inhale. Bring your hands to your heart. Now leave your right foot there and try to send your left foot. Oh, good, Shireen, grab a sip if you would like. Thank you guys. Eight to 12 ounces a class, right? Now send your right, uh, excuse me, send your left foot about four and a half feet deep. Now this is heel up, this is warrior. So it might even be five feet, four and a half so or so. Lift up your arms. Now pull your belly, your rib, belly down, excuse me, your ribs down, your pubic bone up with your belly. That way you're not just thrusting your thigh forward. You've got some ab tone. Front thigh is like its own squat. Back leg is lengthening. 10, two, three, four, good arms, chill, five, six, Seven, I like how that knee's on top of the ankle. Eight, nine, and then 10. Now bring your hands together at the heart. Your body is pitched forward. Get ready, take flight, land softly. Nice, he. Take the other foot back, four and a half or so feet deep. Land softly. And the arm possibilities are open or lift and just you could, you could even interlace. Just find something you need. This guy's strong. Back leg long. Neck is easy. Ten. A little bit of ab tone here. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Bring those hands together, hinge forward. Now take flight and land. Wonderful job. Bring the arms up, back bend. Exhale the hands forward to the floor. Walk the feet back. You could do a bend your elbows, inhale up dog, and then, or meet me down dog. Hold five, four, Three, two, breathe in. You look up at your hands, step, jump, or walk to get there. Halfway up, now go all the way back. Breathe in. Uh, one more step here if you'd like, hands at the heart. Meet me facing front. Open up. Five-pointed star, pick up your right toes and face them the way that your right fingers are and bend your right knee. Hold this, just look majestically over your right hand. 10, warrior two, Virabhadrasana. If you want it harder, walk your feet further apart. If you want it easier, walk your feet in closer. Arm on the thigh, arm over, or hand on the floor. That's another way. Or catch your arm behind you. Just have fun. Ten. Good. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Now push up. Now you're going to go backwards like your hand is trying to touch your thigh. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Ver uh, parallel to the floor arms. Warrior 2, push your legs straight, five pointed star. Pick up your left toes, put them towards the same wall that your left fingers are facing, and then bend that knee. Warrior two. Now look over that hand. Awesome. OK. 
you want it harder, stretch your feet out. If you want it easier, keep your feet in close. Breathe in, let this front arm go to your thigh and the other arm go over, or you could go to the floor and wrap your arm if you want. Good. Ten. Nice. Breathe in. Take that inhale, push your way up and even backwards. Keep bending that front thigh good. Take that inhale, exhale, come back. Now, straighten your legs. Now, at this point, if your feet have stretched out, you can kind of move them in, wrist over the uh, feet. Now, we're gonna take the exhale to go down, but we're heading towards hammock pose. So once you're down, walk forward until you're in an upside down V, but with wide legs. So press your hands into the floor, press your heels towards the floor. Now lift your heels and you're going to go into an up dog if you would like that option. Inhale and then exhale, press back. Five of these. One, breathe in. Two, three, four. Five, walk yourself back in. Now leave your right hand or knuckles down while you lift up your left arm. And then let that other hand down and open up to the other side. And then come down. Now bend one knee and bend the other. And if you wanna go really low, you can. If you need to just do a little bend and feel that stretch, you can. And yeah, nice. We're going to be staying on one side. So if you want to just bend it a little bit, great. If you want to go all the way down, you can. If you want to wrap. Uh, good. Yep. Yeah. Do what you need, Polly. So it could be that you come over here, Polly, and just sort of stretch like that. Yep. Yeah. And, and also make sure your feet haven't slid out from you. So if you need to, you just realign your feet. Good, Jean. Now we're gonna be going to the other side. So it could be good, Betty. It could be that you just bend a little and feel that different stretch. You could go lower, you could wrap. Yeah, isn't that cool? All right, bring it back. Now your legs are long, you hold onto your elbows and you just dangle for a moment, get rid of any tension. And then we're gonna put your hands on the hips and inhale halfway up. 
when you're ready, go all the way up, but watch your blood pressure if you need to. Take more time. And then back to neutral, hands at your heart. Step or jump together. Samasitihi, and let's grab a sip, shall we? All right. I'm going to come back to a uh, wide, void pointed star. Open up the arms. Now, the first pose, lift up your right toes, point it towards the fingers, uh, the wall your fingers are facing. Go to triangle. Now, you remember triangle, and you can enjoy it again, but you'll be more open. Or if you want to bend, you want to put your right fingertips on the floor for a moment, and then lift your left leg into a balancing half moon. You can do that. 10, 9, 8. If you're here and you want to add on, you can bend that knee that's in the air and hold on to that foot. You can release your foot and send it four feet deep. Go inhale up, over to the other side, lift and spread your toes, stretch out. Now you could do a triangle. You could put your fingertips down. You could lift your right leg up. 10. Good. Maybe you're gonna bend that knee that's in the air and hold on to it, balancing half moon with a quad stretch, 10. Breathe in, release the foot, send back, five-pointed star, step, jump, or walk the feet together. Woo! Arms up. Go into an exhale, forward fold. You can do a vinyasa here, feet back, or if you need to modify, go to a down dog, and then bend your elbows up dog. Exhale, lift your hips down dog, and hold. Down dog, five. Now, either do a side plank on your arm or do a maldrasana, foot back, arm up. So this is maldrasana, it's like a side plank on your hand plus the foot back, or you can be on your forearm. Good, way to go. Lift your hip up, uh, heart up. And now other side, so you take your side plank. Remember, you can always modify with a forearm side plank. Inhale, and then put your hands down, down dog. Look up at your hands, step or jump up, halfway up. Go all the way up, take a back bend here, inhale. Hands come to your heart. Take a uh, sip and meet me back here. Great job, everyone's doing so good. Mm -hmm. And we're going to sneak in the world famous tree pose. Lift and spread your toes. Take your foot up to your challenge point. It could be low, it could be calf, it could be inner thigh. I'm going to take us to a cow face right away. I love doing a uh, shoulder opener. I am the defender of the posture muscles. Release those hands to the front like prayer pose. Lower your other foot. Nice job. Let's do the other. Foot up. Okay, Betty. Good. Yeah, go for it. We got time. Five, four. Good, Jean. Three. Look at that. Two. 
Hot dog, everybody. Let that down. Lower your foot. Super. All right, we're gonna be going inhale up. So your big back bend. Now your exhale brings your hands down. Your feet go back. You're in a plank and you're gonna bend your elbows. Chaturanga, inhale up dog. Lift your hips out of push up, down dog. And hold five, four, three, two. Now shift your weight to plank. We're gonna lower ourselves down and do bow pose. Dhanurasana is bend both knees and hold on to your foot or feet. Um, the way, the reason I'm saying you can do it one is because sometimes it's hard for people to get two. So we're gonna do it twice, even if you're holding on to both. 10, Relax, we're gonna do it again and come up. 10. Let your feet go long and lift up your torso. Your hands are beside your hips and hold 10, Shalabhasana. Stay up five more. Now curl your toes under, push back into down dog. Ready, push up and back. Good, heels press. Five, four, three, two. Look at your hands, step, jump, or walk up there. Halfway up, go all the way up, back bend. And then take a sip if you'd like. Good job. This next pose is Warrior One. And Warrior One is similar to uh, Ardha Chandrasana, Half Moon Crescent pose, but your right foot's steady, your left foot goes about four feet deep, maybe four and a half. And it's on the floor this time. It's kind of down 45 degrees. Hold on, coffee's knees coming up. Excuse me, and then open up like a like a field goal pose, or up, and then your leg is long. Good. Find the one that works for you. Ten. Nine. You still have that ab tone. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Now we're going to do a little add on. This is warrior three. Now palms together first. Pitch your body forward. Get ready. We're going to lift up the back leg. Now, if you want it harder, arms in front, like a frame of your ears. Good. Inhale and exhale, come forward, hands at your heart. Once your breath feels normal, breathing, go back, other side. Yeah, arms up, maybe a field goal pose. Front thigh 90, uh, back foot out 45 degrees, right back the heel pressing down to the floor. Dip square. Breathe in. Hands come to your heart and hit pitch forward. Get ready. Take flight. Arms can stretch out.
Take another inhale and slowly come back. Hands at the heart, grab a sip, meet me back here. Really good. And we'll take one vinyasa, go up, inhale. Now this time with the vinyasa, we're gonna add a mini squat. So Ukatasana, bend hands down, feet back, elbows bend up dog, lift your hips, add a push up, down dog, hold. And you're gonna look up at your hands, step or jump up, halfway position. Now, squat, Ukatasana, hold, 10. All right, there you go, weight back, heels heavy, toes really light, you could lift them. I'm lifting mine right now. Shoulders down back. Yep, four. Strong legs feel like they're both 50-50 of your weight. Lift your heart a little bit, Betty, towards me. Yeah, there you go, that's it. Now stand and let the blood pressure adjust. Woo! Once you feel everything settled, we're gonna do a quad stretch. One arm up and back. Hold on to a foot or an ankle. Stand tall at first. Push your foot into your hand. Inhale. Now you slowly come back to Samasita He. Hold. Once you're ready, arm goes up to your foot or ankle. Nice. Unhold for 10. Add on if you'd like. Good way to keep going, inhale. Slowly come back, you're fine. Take a moment, hands at the heart. Vinyasa, inhale, arms up. Ukatasana, squat, hold. Palms together, open up to the side. 10. Face forward for a moment, arms up. Inhale, heart lifts. Good, and palms together and rotate the other side. Catch your elbow on the outside of your thigh if you can. Face forward, inhale, arms up. Now we're gonna put our feet, um, I'm on the mat now, hands down, feet back, bend the elbows up, dog. Lift the hips out, push up, down, dog, hold. If you want to add on toe in a little bit. Real on feet. Come up to your hands. Halfway up. Go all the way up. Breathe in. Hands at the heart. Really good. Now we're going to add on a possible one-legged squat. So with the inhale, bring your arms up. Now you're going to have a seat, but look at your heart. Your heart's still visible in the camera in your view or toward me. Nice. That's it. Your heels are heavier than your toes. If you care to add on, lift up your right ankle, your right foot, maybe even catch it. So you've got this figure four. All right. Ten. Nine, good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, come back up. Now, once you're in some CTE, let yourself breathe. Arms up. Have a seat. The thighs are ready. If you would like to add on just a foot lift, maybe the ankle comes down on the thigh. You've got this figure four. Neck soft, so you might have to tuck your chin if there's any tension. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then stand back up and let your blood pressure adjust. Grab a sip if you would like. And this is all like strengthening too. So your next one is inhale, arms up, have a seat. So Ukatasana is our base move. You can always stay here. If you care to add on, lift up your right foot or cross it once or cross it twice. Right arm underneath, hook your palms, elbows lift. 10, this is eagle, nine. Eight, sit down lower if you need more intensity. Six, or if your foot isn't wrapped. Five, four, three, two. Power back up. Good job. That's a hard pose. You guys did great. Okay, take the inhale, arms up. Squat is your base theme. It is fine to stay here. If you would like to add on, this foot can hover. This foot can cross once or twice. Square your hips again to the front of the room. Left arm underneath and wrap your arms or your hands. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, now, come back up and take a moment, hands at the heart. Grab a sip. And we're gonna inhale to vinyasa, but we pass through squat, ukatasana. Now hands down. Now feet back, bend the elbows, up dog. Lift your hips, you can add a push up, down dog. Now adding on, lift up your right leg and add three circles or so each way. And three the other way. Leave your leg up and you can even flip it so you've got this open hip. Keep dropping through your left heel. Take that foot down, lift up your other leg and draw a few circles. Take that leg and open it. And let that foot down. Now shift your weight. We're gonna do a side plank on the forearm. Your arm can be up. If you care to add a tree, you can, if you don't have to. 10, it's an option. Nine, eight, seven, six, beautiful. Five, four, three, two. Other side, side plank on your forearm. You could add a tree pose and you don't have to, it's an option. 10, but I do wanna to touch this plank on the side. Nine, 
eight, breathe, seven, stretch through your fingers, six, five, four, three, two, lower your hip. Now, you're gonna do, uh, in, in yoga, it's Navasana. This is a modified, it's a balance pose too, isn't it? And if you want more, lengthen your knees. Otherwise, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, relax your feet. Either do reverse table, which looks like this, or reverse plank, which looks like this. 10, Lower, take your two fingers around your big toes. Stretch if you would like. You might just hold on. I'm going to tilt my screen down too, Miss Polly. But in the meantime, if you want to stretch your knees out, go for it. If you want to take a different variation called Ubaya, you double hamstring it. And the uh, legs are together on this one. Neck is easy. Really good. Let your feet down. I'm going to tilt my screen. I also uh, encourage you to grab a sip if you would like. You guys are doing great. What a good class. St this was uh, strength and flexibility and mobility and the joints range of motion now inhale you have enough mat behind you to go inhale try to uh, roll down with your abdominals controlling you and they're pulling in now before we add on take a full body stretch like you just woke up and you can shift through your arms and your legs your hands can go beside you and your feet can go on the floor Curl up five times and bridge Sage Bandasana before we add a hold. Now for the hold, you could interlace your fingers and walk the shoulders a little bit closer together and hold the bridge. You can breathe into your heart, you can let your eyes open if you feel like you want to take a full bridge you can lower your spine down and i'm going to offer a twist where you take your right leg Cross it over your left, then hook your toes like eagle, if, and then go to the left with your legs. If that one doesn't serve you, just do the normal knee down twist. Place your right arm out either way. I like to put my left hand on that thigh, so it's like a paperweight telling my leg to go towards the floor, but without stressing it out, just a little encouragement. Relax your eyes by shutting them or softening. Now, come back, realign. You can do the uh, other side by taking the left leg over, hook your toes, taking the knees to the right, your left arm out to the left. You can even hold your thighs down, or you could just do the normal knee down twist that we normally do. Breathe in. Relax your shoulders. Relax your back. Lace your legs.
Take that inhale. And then exhale, bring it back. Now, uh, your hands can go to your knees, and you're going to take a little circle like you're stirring in a pot. So make the legs go into a little circle. Nice. And we're going to take the right ankle to the left thigh in a figure four. Now in this, you could rock and you could move your ankles, but your right hip, your hip is your focus. You could even, yeah, like that one, make sure you can lift in your left knee. Breathe out any tension. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two. Now either stay here or fall over to the left and do the teapot where your uh, right foot's on the floor. You can put your left hand on your um, knee and push it away. Your right arm's open. Or you can hold the figure four. So people are different and you might get a bigger stretch on figure four or you might get a, another set stretch when you do teapot. Breathe in, and then take it to the other side. Now the first part is ankle to thigh. Reach your hands through, catch your leg, and if you want to move your ankle, if you want to uh, point your toes, you lengthen your knee, just rock, whatever you feel like helps you relax your body, and get it mobile and stretched out. Nine, eight, seven, Now you're going to take, uh, if you would like, a secondary stretch where you do teapot. You fall over, your left foot's on the floor, you push that uh, knee away. Your left arm still open, uh, is open if you want that one. Either way, if you hold the hip opener, uh, one, you'll feel a great stretch too. Now, when you're ready, come up to one of two postures. The first one is a hand to feet and knees like a butterfly. If you want a different one, you can also do the frog posture. And either way, you're gonna get some inner thighs, but oh, I love the frog posture so much. So relax, good, try it out, see what works for you today. Good, good, and nice. And Polly, you're good. If you put your hips further back, you can feel more stretch. But with your hip, you might not want to. So just do what's right. Good. All right, really rest your um, neck. So you're going to make sure your neck doesn't hurt while you're here. And then relax your mind. Take an inhale, 
And then on the exhale, please choose one of two postures. One would be happy baby, or one would be malasana. So this is malasana. This is happy baby. So this is happy baby, and this is malasana. Please choose good, Polly, that's good, and do either one. I like a palm variation too, um, where you put your hands low in the palm for your pose. Wow, good. Boy, boy, everybody looks so good. Wow, so nice. Breathe in. And then when you're ready, we're gonna take either a Pilates ring or a Dynaband and do a hamstring stretch. So you can do whatever you want. And if you want, you can even add your body is going over a foam block or a foam roller. If you want to add a bonus hip flexor stretch, which I always need. <laughs> and it also, so either way, but yeah, grab your Dynaband poly and that way you don't have to work in your arms too much. So what I'm trying to do is relax the neck I like the Pilates ring a lot. Good. You might take the leg across the body a little. And out to the side a bit. Now catch your other foot in that band or that ring and send the other one down. Might take it a little bit across. Take that down, and then again, take a full body stretch, arms long, fingers low, and we're gonna put the legs up on the wall or a, a counter. If you wanna put your hip on something, that's always nice, like a foam roller or a foam block, and it will decrease the tension in the back. It'll increase the um, uh, traction, the spacing between the vertebra. So now release all thought. This is a, a, a fun time to let go of the mind's sometimes preoccupation with figuring things out. So it's okay that we have that part. We're really glad, but we're just going to let it go and tap into a deeper wisdom. A replenishment breath goes to every cell. of anything else. Breathe in. Caring for your cells of your body. Inhale. Breathe in. Care for the cells of your mind. You're replenishing them. Letting go. A 
and then when you're ready, wiggle your fingers and your toes and start coming up towards the seated position that serves you. Lift up through your spine and we're gonna take a little ear to shoulder and reach one arm down. <coughs> Inhale up neutral and exhale the other arm down. And then right down the middle. And then let it go with just a little release of tension and breathe in. And we'll care for ourselves with this breath. Inhale rejuvenation to the body. We're going to inhale a rejuvenation breath to the mind. Clearing it of all worry or shame or thought. And we'll breathe in a energy of care to the spirit or the, the respiration, the part of us that's not physical. And this is where all the creative solutions come from. So we'll just make an intention that we understand that the frequency of a solution and the frequency of a problem are two different frequencies. And whenever we feel a little bit of wobble towards anxiety or worry, we know we can shift back into a calm place and ask or an openness to solutions that are always coming our way in that creative state, in that calm state, as opposed to a worry state. So with so much appreciation, come back into the room with appreciation to you guys. Good class, good job. I'll see you Thursday and Friday, I hope. Bye guys.